in order to treat their patients, I guess a nurse ended up putting on a, a garbage bag. The nurses union at Jersey Shore Medical Center in Neptune claims lack of protective gowns pushed them to wear garbage bags like some New York City nurses did to shield against COVID-19. Their union filed a complaint this month with the federal safety watchdog OSHA alleging staff are provided one disposable gown daily and the gown doesn't last throughout the shift. Employees are unable to obtain additional gowns when needed. Supervisors allegedly told nurses, You're burning through too many gowns, we're not getting any more. If our members are not protected with gowns, then the virus is all over their clothing. It's an unfair position to put someone in. Union local president Adam Witt claims Jersey Shore recently fired him for being a whistleblower about safety lapses, an accusation the hospital adamantly denies. The OSHA complaint also says the hospital won't properly fit its nurses for N95 masks, the gold standard for virus protection, but only if there's a proper fit with a close seal all the way around. And knowing that you can now be infected because your employer is not providing you with proper PPE makes the work environment 10 times as hard. Hackensack Meridian Jersey Shore Medical Center said in a statement, all its N95 masks must be successfully fit checked. If a team member dons a respirator that doesn't fit properly, then the team member will be offered an alternate respirator for use. It also says it's taking appropriate and proactive measures to ensure our team members are safe. We take each of the claims raised seriously and actively follow up on those claims. We don't believe there's any merit to the OSHA complaints. OSHA can take up to six months to investigate a case, but this isn't the only situation where nurses have been complaining about PPE issues. It's very stressful trying to balance everything and not live in fear. Veteran ICU nurse Pam Taveron caught COVID-19. PPE shortages at her hospital prompted Taveron to devise her own gear. She's still wearing it, she says, after returning to work at St. Mary's in Passaic two weeks ago. The night before work is difficult for sleeping. Just because, you know, your day is going to be long, you don't know what's going to happen. Is it going to be a crazy day? Are you going to have enough staff? We've had a lot of nurses leave. Um, we've also had some that are still out sick. The nurse to, to patient ratio. I mean, we got to get that down. We got to get more people, uh, more staff. Tabarone's union boss says St. Mary's also needs more PPEs. She says staff gets Chinese-made KN95 masks approved by the CDC for use during the pandemic. I'm watching the news also and I'm seeing, oh, we have so many uh, companies making PPE. We're delivering millions of masks and gowns. But we're, we're seeing stuff brought in from China rather than just say, ah, oh, this is good for now. We should be saying, what can we do to fix it? Tabarone says her union's filed grievances called the Board of Health and OSHA. St. Mary's didn't respond to NJTV News' request for comment. Tabarone says Jersey needs to work harder at protecting its nurses, flattening the curve, and getting ready for a second wave of the disease. Because when this hits, it's going to be catastrophic, and I don't know what we're going to do. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.